Well, it's a, a game with, done with the Game Maker in 1992. It wasn't too sophisticated. The coding language is used in the engine. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Man and Day in the Limelight 2. Loud. Flashman in the middle, huh? What does it mean? I don't know. Shoo. How about... How about we check Needleman then? God damn it. The volume changes between every uh, stage and uh, transition and everything else. What the hell? That's different. Rather interesting. Still no slide. So none of the Robot Masters so far can slide. So for Needle Mass stage, when you main uh, Metal Man, I suspect things are gonna get a bit easy. Well, that is something we can't get. Not really sure if we're gonna go back and get the uh, secret and collect all of those blue things we might. But I might have to check online what those uh, what those do. And don't bother telling me because at this point I already know this has been pre-recorded. So far, not really utilizing Metal Man's powers to the max. And the Metal Blades being a bit slower and attaching the walls kind of makes it worse, which is great, since it's uh, so powerful. I'm not sure why it doesn't follow the walls. It's uh, with whatever it hits, that's the line of uh, attack. Strange, but it, I suppose it kind of works. The sound, though, gonna get irritating. This stage is not as heavy uh, on uh, using Metal Man. I could use any other Robot Master so far, it doesn't really make a difference. So why not? Uh, oh, that's interesting. Does that hurt us? It doesn't. It's interesting. What if you miss this the first time? Can you still make it up? So if we're down here... Do I just have to wait? Okay, there we go. Good. It resets. Oh god! Goes through the walls. I wish you could uh, move the items as well with this weapon, but you can't. That's something that uh, could have been done. Just making sure you can't ride the walls. So what is this? Oh... I see how we would have gotten the thing. What if we kill ourselves now? Can we... Uh, or is there a... So the teaching element came after... We uh, saw the first one of those buttons. I guess at the same... It's nice that you can skip the transition, by the way. But I guess at the same time... I was a bit of a dumbass not realizing that. But now I have to repeat everything because I was a dumbass. So I suppose we just need to hit that button with... Something that... Uh, goes over and about. There we go, okay. That'll work. Uh-oh. So, a bit of an ass-backwards uh, teaching element there, but if you think about it, if you thought that, if you thought of the uh, way those work before, that would have been way too easy and not really a secret. So I do approve of how you did it. It just feels kind of dumb having to go back and reset the stage, because you realize the thing too late. How does this work? Am I supposed to jump on the falling block? Oh, I see. Okay. I'm not sure how that makes sense, but that's how it works. Interesting. 
Those are hard to hit with that. Luckily we got all kinds of robot masters to choose from. So far, level design is still a bit bland, but this is a slight improvement over the other stages. But only a slight improvement. Fa That's a handy uh, <laughs> checkpoint. So as you can see, there's uh, plenty of ways to deal with these uh, mechanics uh, as you see fit. Which is nice. Also, I'm not sure why you can press left and right on the ladder to make you go uh, and swap hands. Something that Game Maker does probably, because I've seen it in other games. Oh boy. Another screen where you just gotta use Metal Man. Well, it's the best one to use anyway. Oh my good! Now I have to reset the whole room. No, that's fun. Not really. <laughs> Not really a fun room. You know what to do, it's just about doing it, but... Punishment is so great. It's just the punishment is it's wasting your time. That's what it is. It's nothing else. Punishments that uh, have to do with wasting the player's time. Really the wrong way to do it. That should not be a punishment ever in a game. Unless it's very well done. Let's see how Needleman works. Looks the same. Oh nice, that takes two damage. It's actually quite fun to uh, fight him with quick man. So I'm not really sure I wanna even try the weakness. Let's look for the weakness. <laughs> the weakness should never be the robot master you get from the stage. So let's see if they've done that or not. That's two damage as well. How about... Uh, two damage. Does that block from the needles? It does! Uh, that's great. So you could always swap to uh, Moodman and dodge the needles that way and then... Uh oh, that does nothing. Yet the shots are still too damaged for some reason. That actually uh, works great. Holy fuck! Oh, that's nice. I like the little upgrade on this guy. So far, uh, really nothing bad to say. Still no uh, weakness, I suppose. Unless... Oh! No. Oh well, flash mana works the best, probably. Oh, there we go. Really not bad. What if I fl flash now? Oh no! Oh, no, never mind. Would have been hilarious if that actually... Uh, got stuck. Bark! Well, so far, it's a fun little game. I would probably not replay it, it's just once in a lifetime experience, I'd probably never come back. But I can appreciate the things it does, and for someone, it might be a better game than it is to me. Oh dear boy, oh dear me. That sound is killing me, to be honest. Let's see if you can steer yourself up and down uh, with the magnets. So if you just press the fire button normally, he does... Uh, oh, never, it's random? No, if you just press the fire button, he does this. Oh no, it's if you charge just a little bit. I think the next one has two flames. It's kind of strange how that works. If you hold it just a little bit, even for like, just over a tap, it fires two of them on the next one. Kind of strange how that works. I'm not. I don't. I don't really like that. Re really convoluted. Oh shit. Oh, you can't press up and down. Oh man, no research was done on that. That might be the first uh, obstacle slash enemy that uh, where the research was not sufficient. In the original games, uh, you can steer yourself up and down when you're uh, traveling with these things. Not here though, that's a bit, uh, bit of a let down. Again, not anything huge, it's just something that I noticed. <sighs> Heat, man, not really uh, something I'd use, really looks like uh, 
It was not uh, perfected. Since t since the firing is a bit off, I actually blinked. And because Quickman is so fast, I didn't even see those spikes before it was too late. <laughs> it's hilarious. Really, uh... Quite the boring game, to be honest, at times. Like, the things it does, it does well. But at the same time, it's kind of like, it's playing so safe. That it's really just that, it's... Boring. And somebody, uh... Somebody did say, well, maybe if you, if you didn't like Mega Man 3, you would not like this game. I did like Mega Man 3, yes. <laughs> Have you seen my uh, list on my website? With the rankings? How do you do this? I suppose whenever you don't know what to do in a stage, just equip the Robot Master that was given for the stage. That's always your answer. It's a bit strange though. Am I really stuck? Can't be this dumb. Oh! You can fly up! Well, that's a teaching element right there. Teaches you how to do that section. I can't even talk when you're... Charging this, like holy fuck. How did you make the sound worse? Oh, But you don't really need him, because Quickman can do this as well. Quickman is so overpowered in this game. Really, it's a joke. Ha! So Heatman has been rendered useless <laughs> by Quickman. On some of these, you really should have thought, thought about this a better. What the hell? How am I gonna. Okay, now I'm supposed to use Heatman, because I have no other option here. Yeah, it's very fun, but just change to him once and then change back. Oh my goodness. Can I also fly down? Yes, I can. Okay. Ah! Oh, that is not where I'm supposed to go, apparently. Wasn't clear enough. Why is... Why are some effects so fucking loud in this game? It's like the music is... And then the sound effects are like... Then when you charge with heat, it's like... It's like, calm the fuck down. Well, it's a, a game with, done with the Game Maker in 1992. It wasn't too sophisticated. The coding language is used in the engine. Did you know that Mega Man was done around the same time on the any fucking S, though? Yeah, well, the platform was much easier for people to code with. Well, if you can't make it good with the PC, don't make it the PC. Another uh, instance where I'm talking to myself, apparently. Let's see then. Land on these, Mong. And you'll have a f easier time. Well, a uh, metal man would come handy in here if I can find him. Metal Man would not come handy in here. Let's not use him. Wood Man, though. Look at that. Well... Quick Man, the game. Such a problem. That should not be there. <laughs> I see how to do this. Whenever you just... Like, I repeat myself. Whenever you don't know what to do, just equip the Robot Master you were given. Because... <laughs> And then... Fuck! Uh, I'm gonna get that one. Oh, that's a fun mechanic though, but... Not really fun when you do it to Mets. That should have been a, a thing on the actual Mega Man Mass stage in the original game. Shame it wasn't the uh, utilized will. Oh no. What have they done? Okay, quick man. Again, best option, he's the fastest, so avoiding any of this. Probably the most sane to do most uh, sane thing to do would be to use quick man. Uh how am I gonna oh, this is a bit of a clusterfuck. Take some time to get used to. Even when 
even with the short range, Quick Man is so good. Because you can just avoid most of this shit by being fast enough. I can't avoid any of this with Quick Man. Let's uh, swap. No, but really though. Even though I'm choking about it. Quick Man really is the uh, best robot master so far. And really uh, the one that probably gets the most playtime. It really just... Uh, it's the Metal Blade of this game. Gotta be careful when you design a game like this where you have multiple robot masters to choose from that you don't make one of them overpowered. Yes, Quick Man is all about running fast, but is that then uh, a good idea to have in your game in the first place? I don't know. Yes, I do know. It's not. Metal Man would actually make sense. Look at how well that would have worked as a weakness. I'm kinda stuck somehow. Metal Man would have been a fantastic weakness. Not really a fun boss room, you're so limited, you just hang up there and try your best not to get it up the ass. This is kind of a pain. I prefer the original fight, even though that's a bit of a uh, lackluster fight too, but this is just... Ugh. Not really a fan of this. And with any anyone else than Quick Man, it's just a pain. You're so fucking slow. You're, you're like, you're limiting yourself when you're not, not playing with Quick Man. So it has become quite the uh, problem in this game. The balance between the Robot Masters not really thought out. Quick Man is so much better, even with the short range. As I'm getting my ass handed to me. I still prefer Quick Man. I prefer learning the fight with him, even though I'm getting my ass kicked. Because it makes the most sense. I would be... Uh, Getting my ass kicked with the other characters as well, even more so than this. When are the fans gonna turn off? Okay, they turned off with no apparent uh, mechanic behind it, it just looks random to me. <sighs> like, have the fans at some point set the, on the roof, but not the whole roof. I think that's my problem with this. Uh, my goodness. Not really an enjoyable... Uh, Episode this one. We're getting to the nitty gritty uh, things, but still, not really. It's not a game that I'd replay for sure, it's just. It's almost there. Oh, this is goddamn boring. With the short range, you would think that you could do 2 damage to Magnet Man with Quick Man's power. That's not really a thing now, is it? It's gonna take forever. I do like how Magnet Man is now harder, but maybe don't do it like this. Make a harder pattern, just don't use the fans in the goddamn room. I always hate it when people use the uh, stage mechanics in the actual boss fights. That's always cheap to me. Like the stage mechanics should stay out of the boss room. Unless they're very solid, very well thought out. I just keep them out. <laughs> Probably my... Least favorite fight so far. I really don't like this. It's just, it's overly gimmicky. It feels cheap. It's like a level you get from a cereal box. Jesus Christ, this is hell. I hate this. Do we have a fucking E-Tank? I can't deal with this. We don't have an E-Tank. I can deal with this. I fu- I can't get- I can't- Borg. Man, fuck this. Well... At least we have a shield, so now he can't do pretty much anything. Guess that's supposed to be the weakness? Kinda? It makes sense. So now I'm just sitting here, not doing really anything. How a weakness should work, but just make me work a little bit. We don't even get sucked by the fans, that's an actually interesting idea. The weakness makes sense. Oh boy. <sighs> Bit of a tiring experience. Let's take care of the last one here. Let's not waste your time and my time with this game. It's... I'm not saying it's bad. Eh? But the flow requires that I uh, play three of these this, on the one episode. Gemini Man then. Which is Bubble Man. Oh no. <laughs> oh. There's... No charge, no nothing, it's just... Let's see how much damage they do! In Mega Man 2 it's ridiculously bad. 
everything takes like a million shots or doesn't die at all to the bubble lid. People still say it's bubble lead. Well, the Japanese pronounce it bubble lead. Well, they're a bunch of fucking donkeys. At least it does damage, right? But if we go back... Yeah, let's go back with Bubble Man. That's gonna be fun. If we go back, really think about this. Also, why does the bubble take care of the flame pillar? I guess it's water, so it makes sense. Mm, it's actually lead. So you're saying it doesn't make sense. Okay. So why not just use Quick Man? Why do we need to use Bubble Man? It's much easier being fast, avoiding things, than being slow and avoiding things, right? Soon there's gonna be a mechanic that requires uh, using Bubble Man. So that's when we have to equip it. Other than that, use Quick Man. Oh no. What does this mean? That's a fun idea. Okay, here is where you would have probably used Bubble Man. So switch for this one enemy. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'll give you that. You brought new life to the bubble lid, but then you ju can't even get rid of these. Which is something that I talked about. Don't have the uh, robot master you get from the stage. Do everything in the stage. Give me some options and here is where they've done that. I'm gonna die. You don't get any items from these. It's a bit harsh. Why is Chimina man there? It's nice that uh, he's interacting with the stage and uh, shooting those bubbles. Checkpoints are extremely lenient. Uh, seem seems to me that whenever you die, you get to continue from like one room before that. Extremely lenient. Uh, now I just... F oh, no. Okay, so what was the point of this? What was the point of this? Why did I make this jump? There's nothing here. There's a bunch of fucking nothing there. Get rid of the boy. Oh my god, the bubble lid damage sucks. I oh god, we're so slow. Just give me a quick man. Let's do this. Go past everything. We're at the point where uh, really using quick man, most things don't really matter. Fine, let's take a look at the uh, mini boss then really closely. Heaven, I like how that takes away multiple bubbles. So what's the point of going up there? I don't understand. Maybe there was supposed to be something there that just forgot. Unlikely, but that can happen, I suppose. Well, it works well. Like I said, most of these assets work just like the original, so... No real sins. Uh, in the game, apart from a couple of things so far. So uh, with Quick Man, you can just pretty much uh, skip the whole game. <laughs> oh no. Unless the game says you no longer can't do that because there is a thing you need to do with Bubble Man. Oh no, he can swim. Oh, of course he can. Okay. Like I said, sometimes the game makes you wanna do things to showcase things to you in a thingy manner. Holy fuck. So what have we learned? Use Quick Man when you are not forced to use a Robot Master for that stage. Sometimes use Wood Man for the shield capabilities. Is there a way we could make this jump? There we go. Is this good or bad? Should we go here or not? Let's check it, it's fine, let's check it. I don't know what the teleport thing is for. But I'm suspecting this is a secret. Only accessible with Quick Man. Just like everything else. <laughs> Not really utilizing the Crash Man walls. Very well. Can we just get rid of this penguin? <gasps> no, you... That's a bad placement, even for a secret. Shit, I was that close to finding out what that is. Hadouk! No. Hadouk! No. Hadouk! Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. 
Heaven's heart. So this is a spot where, uh, fuck me. This is a spot where Woodman would probably be good. Shoot, it sucks. See, no matter which I pick, I always go back to quick man because of the speed. If I'm like, hmm, there's a lot of things dropping things on me. Let's go with Woodman. Good. So now, uh oh, there's a meat boss. So now Woodman suddenly kind of sucks. So now, I have to change to something else. Oh, that sucks, okay. Well, Heat Man, well, that sucks, okay. Well, how about Air Man, though? That goes up. Well, that kind of sucks too, as well. Bubble Man, not really uh, viable. Uh, I don't know, Metal Man. Uh, can't hit it. Uh, well, looks like go back to Quick Man. We <laughs> get the job done. Quick Man, the reckoning. Fuck! Oh, shit. No, no, no. Get rid of this. Shoot. <laughs> Come. Out. <laughs> Heavens! There's no tippy though. How uh, do you expect I make this? It does nothing. The thing does nothing? I'm sorry, what? There's probably something I didn't do. Oh no, there's something I didn't do. Do I have to be Bubble Boy? Oh my god, I have to be Bubble Man just to. Oh. I see. I see, though. So what's the purpose of this? It's just to raise the water level. Which was a teaching element prior. Which I skipped. Because I thought that was a teleport thing to another place. So I, I thought it was a secret to go here, go in here. But no, you can skip the entire challenge just by using quick map because his jump is so high. So I basically just... Why, why do I hit my head on this one block? Look at this, I hit my head on this. What in the hell? What is in there? So I neglected your whole challenge based on a robot master by using quick man. Look, I can skip all of this, not raising the water even. Talk about overpowered robot master. Uh, I'm just making the case strong here. Just skip all of this, doesn't make any sense. Why would I have to raise the water level anyway? But let's do... Just run through all of this. Just gonna be a big energy at some point, probably because there's so many enemies. Just run through all of this. And now the water level is uh, up anyway. So that whole thing was kind of pointless. Ooh, boy. That's kind of a strange thing. There's even one of those here. Okay, fine, let's check what happens if we raise the water level in this fight. It becomes harder to play because uh, I'm getting stuck on the fucking water. That's what happens. I suppose you're supposed to raise the water level to get to him. But not really, when you have a quick man you can just jump up there and kill him. Right? Oh no, you can't use it. Okay, fair. So kill this fellow first. I think you can... Yep, there we go. So now, you have to raise the water level. Unless you just use airman. Oh, okay. You have some issues. Like, I know. Well, you can use multiple robot masters to have advantage. That was probably the weakness. Yeah, sure. But you're making some things essentially super easy and some things really don't matter at all. Somebody could say, well, that's the whole point of using different robot masters to skip certain parts and that, to go past certain things uh, in another uh, way. But that still isn't quite working out. If you agree on what I say, leave a like. If you disagree, then leave a dislike. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for watching another Nico Evaluates. Join us in Discord to talk about Mega Man, White Bread, and the neighbor's dog. Impact the show in my Patreon, or just throw a few bucks if you wanna buy me coffee. Check out our merch at teespring.com slash store slash Napster and get my quotes on your shirt. Or if those don't interest you, you can always just leave a comment or just keep watching. I'll catch you on the next one.